biggest hydro power station in the Telugu states. Polavaram Hydro Power Station, a dream for the people of Andhra Pradesh, is soon going to become a reality, adding another shining glory in their achievements. Leading infra company MEIL is constructing this hydroelectric project with 960 megawatts capacity. Once completed, it would become the largest power station in both Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. One of the rarest in the country. In the Chinese province of Hubei, the world's largest hydropower station is located in Yishang County. It is constructed on Yangtze River and also called as Sanya or the Three Gorges Project. The total capacity of this project is 22.5 gigawatts. In our country, Terry, Koina and Sardar Sarovar projects are considered the biggest hydropower projects. These all are totally intended for hydropower generation. Though the Sardar Sarovar project is a multi-purpose project, Polavaram, a prestigious project that is being constructed in Andhra Pradesh, is also one such multi-purpose project. What is so unique in Polavaram Hydropower Project? Construction of any big reservoir is normally intended to address irrigation, drinking water and industrial needs. Apart from all these, Polavaram also has another attraction in navigation facilities. A navigation canal is being constructed as a part of this project that facilitates transport in Godavari River from upper reaches to lower part. One of the rarest of such facilities located left to the reservoir where hydropower station is established. The Bolivaran project is unique in that it can produce hydropower 365 days a year. The reservoir can address both the irrigation and drinking water needs of the people in the low-lying area. Mainly, it can give irrigation water for two crops in the Godavari Delta area. At least 12,500 cusacks of water would be released once power is generated. Thus, it caters for the irrigation and drinking water needs at one end and other end, it continuously generates hydropower. The primary intention is to protect crops in the Delta area. There is another critical feature in the project construction. Usually, constructions in hydropower stations are done with high heat and pressure to generate power. It increases the cost of the project. Here, it is not the case. Water directly reaches turbines from a small distance and enables power generation. It helped in decimating the project construction cost and maintenance cost. BHL involvement in project construction is another advantage. MEIL has entered into an agreement with this giant electromechanical public sector company to procure hydropower turbines and other ancillary machinery. As part of the agreement, BHEL will manufacture and supply the machinery to Megha Engineering. Constructing the powerhouse in the Gap area, left side to the Polavaram. It is near Angaluru in the East Godavari district. The spillway has been built on the right side of the project and hydropower station is on the left side. Indeed, this is the uniqueness of this project. Normally, hydropower station will be very adjacent to the spillway. But here in Polavaram, these two are independent as it is planned that spillway is at one end and the powerhouse will be at another end. There are 12 units in the hydro power station, each with a capacity of 80 megawatts. Power project capacities in the Telugu states. If we take a look at the power generating capacity of different hydro projects in the Telugu states, the situation is like this. Sri Sailam Right Bank Power Project capacity is 770 megawatts. Left Bank Power Project capacity is 900 megawatts. The capacity of the hydro power station of Naga Sagar project is 770 megawatts. Polavaram project has more capacity than all these projects. Do you know the uniqueness of the engineering technology of Polavaram hydro power station? At Polavaram, floods will be there almost every year. 
the intensity of river flow in the Godavari is very high. This project intended not only to control these floods and also to generate hydropower. As water is released from a height of 27 meters to the low-lying areas, there is an enormous possibility to generate power in this Polavaram project. Nearly 331 cusecs of water will be released from each unit. Thus, there is possibility of getting 2,308.421 million units of power from each unit. Once power is produced, this water is diverted from trail race towards the right side into the Godavari River. This type of engineering technology is rarely used and it is indeed a proud feature of the Polavaram project. How much water is used for power generation in Polavaram? Once the Polavaram project completed, it can store 195 TMCs of water. Out of this, 120 TMCs of water will be used for power generation and irrigation. Primarily, it caters for the irrigation and drinking water needs of the people in the Godavari Delta, specifically people of East Godavari, West Godavari and Krishna districts. A balance of 75 TMCs would be stored in the reservoir. Power generation, then water for irrigation. Nearly 10.5 lakhs acres of land is under cultivation under the right and left canals of Polavaram project. The water that is used for hydropower station would use for the stabilization of this area. In Andhra Pradesh, except at Polavaram, there is no other convenient location to stop and store Godavari water. Though there is possibility for storage at Sir Arthur Cotton Barrage, it is so minimal. Considering all these things, this effort is made to store water at Polavaram to use it for multiple purposes, including hydropower station. With the power generated at Polavaram, Andhra Pradesh will have the advantage of moving into a surplus state. After utilizing power for local needs, balance can be sold to other states that give the state an additional income. It will also encourage the establishment of several new industries that can result in more employment opportunities for local people. All the more, they will be an enormous benefit to the agricultural sector in the state. Unique Features of Hydropower Station Polavaram Hydropower Station is being constructed with a capacity of 960 megawatts hydroelectric power. There are 12 vertical Kaplan turbines, each with a capacity of 80 megawatts. 12 pressure tunnels need to be dug for these units, each tunnel with a length of 145 meters and 9 meters diameter. There will be 12 generator transformers, each with a capacity of 100 megawatts. For power project, an approach channel constructed with a length of 206 meters and a width of 294 meters. The powerhouse is 365 into 25 meters. Trail race pool needs to be dug with a length of 1130 meters and a width of 254.32 meters. The plant requires land nearly to the extent of 107 hectares. At present, rock excavation works are going on in full swing in Polavaram project. Tunneling works would be started very soon. 